What's up everybody? Welcome back to GIS Chops and another Tool Belt Tuesday. Today we're going to round out the trifecta of the repositioning tools. We're going to talk about the scale tool today. And we're also going to talk about rotating points. If you have symbols rotated based off of an attribute, ArcGIS Pro does update the attribute when you rotate a point. So I'll show you how that's done. I found that out from a couple of commenters, Christian Farmer and Matt Beal, so a shout out to those guys. So let's get after it. Okay, we're going to start out by rotating these points. I've got these points symbolized by a long push pin symbol. It's kind of a linear symbol. And I've added a field to my point layer that's a short integer that allows me to specify an angle. So if you go to, if you have your point layer selected in the the contents pane, then you go to your symbology pane, and you come to the very symbology by attributes tab on that pane, you can go to open the rotation group, and then specify your field here. I've got the rotation field specified, and I've also specified geographic rotation, because that makes more sense to me that zero is up, 90 is east, 180 is south, and 270 is west. So that's how I set it up. Now if we select one of those points, I'm going to have to select a line. And then go to the, my Modify Features pane. And now if I rotate, I grab that green circle, move it around, and it rotates the point. And you can see I've got that uh, dynamic feedback there in the that bar that shows up with the degrees in it. That shows up because I have the constraints turned on. You can do that with this little button down here. If it's if it's uh, white, it's not turned on. If it's highlighted in blue, then it's turned on. So if I turn it off, rotate the point, it it doesn't give me feedback. But if I turn it on, rotate the point, then you can see the, the angle that I'm rotating. Now if we go to our attributes and I hit the check mark, it updated my rotation field. So I'm at 36 degrees. But when you rotate using the rotate tool, it goes positive values rotate clockwise, negative values rotate counterclockwise and the, if I hit the A key go back to my modify and rotate now if I hit the A key and specify this is offset of what it is now so if I hit 45 it's not gonna go to 45 degrees it's gonna go 45 degrees from where it is right now so you can see when you specify an angle using the A key it's offset from what it is but if you change it in the attributes, so I cancel that. If I go to the attributes and I say 45, it's going to go to 45 degrees from north. If I specify a negative value here, it will, sh will shoot it to the left of zero. So positive, or I could go to 350 and that will work too. So zero to 360 both negative and positive. If I do a negative 350, it'll flop it over to the other side of zero. So that's how rotating points work. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Let's move on to scaling features. To find the scale tool, go to the Modify Features pane, and it's here in the alignment group. Or if you, are, if you hit the Move button, it's in that same group as, as we discussed in the previous videos. And if you've missed those videos, uh, check out that card up there. I'll, I'll put a link to those videos up there. So let's start out by scaling a polygon. I'm going to select this little polygon here. But I'm going to first rotate it so that it matches the other one. I hit Control and click on that corner so that's my anchor point. Then I drop my secondary anchor point by hovering over this other vertex and hitting S on the keyboard. 
and then I'm gonna rotate it to match that line. Now I hit my green checkbox, commits the change. Now I'm going to scale it and it puts the anchor point right in the center of the polygon. I hit control and click on that corner because I want it to anchor there. When I scale it, it's going to stay at that position and then all the other points that make up that polygon will scale. So to scale a feature, you grab it by these little handles. Now I'm going to grab it by this corner up here so I can use the snapping to that corner. So it does adhere to snapping if you use those handles. And for some reason, they allow a secondary anchor, but that secondary anchor doesn't snap for some reason. Like if I cancel this and I want to scale it, put the primary anchor over here, drop the secondary anchor there. Now if I try to scale it, it doesn't snap to that vertex and it doesn't let me grab up that corner for some reason because it thinks I'm, I'm moving the anchor point and I'm not. So don't use the secondary anchor. It doesn't, doesn't work and I'm not sure why they have it available. So that's how you scale a polygon. Let me do it again just so that, so that you have it. Control click drops the primary anchor. And then if I use this one, it doesn't snap. But if I drag this handle, it will snap to that vertex. So use those handles. Maybe that's just because my polygon is square. I don't know. Anyway, that's how you scale a polygon. Let's look at lines. Now we're going to scale this little line here. I'm going to move it to my other line. Now I'll rotate it. Drop my secondary anchor there. Rotate it and it snaps to the edge. Then I'm going to hit the checkbox. Now I'll scale it. Move my anchor to there. And then as I drag it out, it snaps to the end of that line. Now with points, you can't really scale one point. It doesn't, it doesn't let me do anything. I mean, it gives me a percent there, but you can't scale a single point. It's just one point. But if I select two points, and then scale them, I can anchor it to this point, and then I'll drag the, the handles, and it scales it, scales the distance between those two points. So that's the scale tool. I hope all that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments. Like, let me know what questions you have, and I'll try to answer them down there. Uh, with ArcMap, I kind of liked that where I was working in the parcel fabric, it had an option to scale and rotate something when you were joining to the parcel fabric. You could do it simultaneously. But with, with ArcGIS Pro, I don't think you can do that. Unless you know of a way, let me know. But I've put an idea into... Esri's idea sites. I'll put a link in the comments or in the description. Uh, let you go there and vote that up so that they can get that functionality back in ArcGIS Pro that was in ArcMap. So go to that link in the description and vote that idea up and maybe they'll implement it in a future release.